Welcome back to the FM Connection. It's the Content Creators Prediction Contest. It's the final day of the Premier League season. My name is Anders, and you can find me at AndersBazFM on all social media. Well, namely YouTube and Twitter, because I don't really use anything else. But please subscribe to the FM Connection for more fantastic content. And let's get straight into, day, into today's fixtures. It's five games going on today, uh, and I'm going to cover them in three blocks. First, because it's got no implications at either the relegation or the top four battle, I'm going to go with Palace against Manchester United. Now, apparently, Eric Ten Hag, the new Manchester United manager, will be in the stand. So that should be enough to inspire United into doing something. Palace haven't got much to play for. And I think a victory here will give all the United fans hope that next season will be better, whether it is or not will be seen later, clearly. Uh, so I'm going to go with a 2-0 victory for Manchester United away from home. Right, we'll go to the top four battle next. We've got Everton against Arsenal and Norwich against Spurs. So Everton are out of the relegation battle now, I think. Maybe not mathematically, but there's not much chance of it happening. Um, but focusing on the top four, it's very funny if Arsenal miss out. But it's also very funny if Spurs miss out. Unfortunately, there's not a way that both of those things can happen. So we're going to have to go with something else. And I think Everton have probably got more about them than Norwich. So I think we're going to go with uh, Arsenal leading until late. Uh, Spurs level until late. But ultimately, Everton to equalise, Spurs to win. So Everton 2, Arsenal 2, Norwich nil, Spurs 2, if you follow. that, They're my predictions. Uh, and then at the other end... It's the relegation battle. It's a dogfight between Le Leeds and Burnsley. Burnsley, Leeds and Burnley. We've got Brentford against Leeds and Burnley against Newcastle. Leeds have been terrible, but they need a point here to send the Dingles down. And we've got to send Burnley down. That's just the rules. Sorry, lads. Uh, so Newcastle are going to come away with a victory at Turdmore. 2-1 to Newcastle. And... I think Leeds are going to get a draw against Brentford. 1-1, one, one, the final score. Hopefully, all of that made sense and you followed along. If you didn't, I'm sure all of my predictions were wrong anyway, so it won't matter. Right, thank you so much for watching the prediction contest this season, and we'll see you in August. What is up, guys? See you here. Here are my predictions for this weekend's games and the last games of the Premier League season. It's going to be rough. Quick caveat, right? I'm saying this before the Thursday's matches. So if Burnley win on Thursday, I just, I, I give up with all our predictions, really. First up, we have Everton versus Arsenal. I'm going 1-1. Everton, obviously, a miles better at home than away, and Arsenal are absolutely shocking. Arteta's process just doesn't seem to go that well, does it? Next up, Norwich versus Spurs. Norwich, terrible, terrible, terrible. Spurs wanting just to really cement that Champions League spot. I'm going to go 2-0 Spurs. Brentford versus Leeds. I hate Brentford. They have this like fake rivalry with Leeds. I don't know what it is. But it's so tiring. So, so tiring. I'm going to say 2-1 Leeds. Brentford amazing at home. But I have to... I'm a Leeds fan. I can't I can't say we're going to lose a draw, can I really? Burnley versus Newcastle. I need a Burnley loss. <laughs> I hope Burnley lose Thursday. I hope they lose this weekend. I'm going to go 2-1 to Newcastle. I think Burnley will score... But Newcastle players playing for the shirt, playing for the contract next year. They want to stay at the club. They're going big places. So, 2-1 Newcastle. Palace United, who cares? They're both terrible. I'm going to go 1-1. This is a game I could not care less about. I just couldn't. Yeah. So, there we go. There are predictions. I need a big week, don't I? I need a big week. Finish it strong. And then hopefully next year we'll be a little bit better. Not mid-table fodder. See you next time, guys. Hello everybody, Frankly FM 84 here. We are back with the final week of the content creators' predictions. Uh, we are going to try and get some points on the board this week to try and close that gap to Straight Edge TV. It's going to be a tall order with just five fixtures left in the Predictors League, but let's give it a go. Um, we are going to start off this week with Everton and Arsenal. Arsenal have become poor again. Bit of a hit and miss team. I thought Arteta was getting it right and then they kind of fall apart. They have ups and downs. The only thing about this is they are playing against Everton. This is going to be some relegation battle on the final day of the season. I think Everton aren't good enough to beat Arsenal. I think Arsenal should go in there 
and beat Everton convincingly. I'm going to go with Arsenal to win 3-0. The next game then is Norwich against Spurs. Spurs are turning it around. Positive performances against Liverpool. Performances against Arsenal. They seem to be a team that Conte is getting organised. And I think they will just go into Carrow Road. Steamroller Norwich. But I do think Norwich will score. I think Spurs will win this game 3-1. Uh, Brentford against Leeds is the next one. Leeds are deep in it once again. Everton getting some points on the board. It's been changing back and forth. Unfortunately for Sia, Leeds look like they are going to be facing the drop. I hope that they can avoid going down. I did the Leeds save early on in the season on FM22. And I do think Leeds are too big of a club really to be dragged into this kind of relegation battle. But maybe performances earlier on in the season warrant them being where they are. I can't see them beating Brentford. I hope Brentford are off on a beach somewhere or on holiday in their heads. But I think they beat Leeds and I think they're going to win 2-0. Uh, Burnley against Newcastle next. Burnley, again, another team down there fighting for survival, scrapping for everything that they've got. Uh, I can't call how this is going to go. I've got them down to lose. I think they've faced off against a Newcastle team that have started to turn corner. Only for this season, though, I've got a feeling that Eddie Howe, come next season, might find himself in deep water if they don't get the transfers right in the summer. They've got lots of money to spend. We all know that. But if he doesn't go out and get it right, I think they don't hit the ground running in the new season. Could be in a bit of trouble. But for this one, I think they're going to round out their campaign with a win. And I think he will take the plaudits going into the summer break. Uh, I've got Newcastle down to win this game 2-1. And finally, we're going to have another laugh. Last week, we had a laugh by picking West Ham to beat Man City 2-1. And I actually sent FM DNA a message after Jack Grealish had scored to say, can I cash this in? Because, damn it, I knew that Man City were too strong to lose 2-1, really. But... It nearly came off. So this week's laugh result is going to be Crystal Palace to beat Manchester United 2-0. Man United just look like none of them are interested. They don't really want to be there. Crystal Palace, though, play some good football on occasion. Uh, if this is one of the days where they are having a going day, I think they can cause Man United some trouble. And I think that Ralph Rangnick's campaign will be signed off on a sour note. I'm going to go with Palace to win this game 2-0. So a quick run through then of all of my predictions. I've got Arsenal to beat Everton 3-0. Spurs to beat Norwich 3-1. Brentford to beat Leeds 2-0. Uh, Newcastle to beat Burnley 2-1. And Crystal Palace to beat Manchester United 2-0. Right then guys, what are we going to be doing with our weeks without Premier League football to come? As a Liverpool fan, we've got the Champions League final regardless. But good luck to everybody this week. Hopefully some of us are going to close that gap to Straight Edge TV. He's hoping he's off away and champions of the predictors table already. Uh, fingers crossed though we can all kind of make it a little bit more difficult for him. But good luck to everybody. Final week. Let's see what you got. I'm going to pass you on to the next person. Again, good luck everybody. Hi folks, my name is Corky and these are my FM Connection predictions for the weekend ahead. Uh, I'm just going to get stuck straight in. Uh, first two games, top four fight. As a Spurs fan, obviously I want Spurs to do well. At the time of recording this, it is 20 minutes to 10 on Thursday night. It's 90 plus 6 minutes in the Everton Crystal Palace game. They are winning 3-2. They're about to become safe from relegation. I don't think they're going to have much care on Sunday, I think. I think Arsenal are going to win it. Um, we'll go 2 1. And as a Spurs fan, as I've seen a meme during the week online and on Twitter, that the fear of losing to Norwich when all you need is a draw is very much a Spurs thing. And I absolutely feel it. I do think Spurs will be galvanised enough by Antonio Conte to get the win. I do think Norwich will score. I'm going to say 2 1 to Spurs in this one. Um, the next two games then, obviously big relegation battle going on. Um, Brentford at home to Leeds, Burnley at home to Newcastle. Um, again, as I say, at the time recording this, there are five minutes left in the Burnley match with Aston Villa. It's currently one all. I don't think Burnley are going to get up 
a win out of that. I think they, they will finish with the draw. They will be level on points with Leeds, if I am correct. 35 points each. Um, I think... Unfortunately for Leeds, I think Brentford are going to be too strong for them. And that's what's going to end up relegating them, really. Um, I think Burnley are... Or I think Burnley are going to do better against Newcastle. I can see them with a narrow defeat to Newcastle. Um, maybe 1-0, 2-1. I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Newcastle. Um, but I do think Brentford are going to beat Leeds. Maybe we'll go 3-1. I'm sorry, Sear. It's, uh, unfortunately, that's going to be Leeds relegated. Um, but yeah, we're going to go 3-1 to Brentford. And the final game of the season then uh, is Palace versus Man United. I don't think any of the players on either side are really going to care about this. Um, Crystal Palace are, I mean, they can only drop one position. They can go up maybe three positions, the to, to 10th maybe at best, goal depending. Um, I don't think either of the teams are really going to care about it. Um, I can see Crystal Palace winning... 1-0. I don't think Man United care. I think they're finished. They're already on the beach. Um, so those are my predictions for the weekend ahead. Not great results. Not great predictions. They're probably all wrong, as they always are. Um, but it's fine. Who cares? It's all a bit of fun. Um, but as yeah, I just want to say as well, thank you like guys at FM Connection for asking me to take part. It hasn't been very long I've, I've been involved in it, but it has been thoroughly enjoyable. I'm sure it's all a bit of crack, and that's all that matters really uh don't forget to subscribe to the fm connection youtube channel there'll be plenty more content to come in the future and you can find me on twitter and instagram at quirky blues and you can catch me on twitch.tv forward slash quirky blues as well i uh, also have a youtube channel and a few other links uh, you can check them out if you would please um but that is all for me for this weekend and for this season uh thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it and we will see you next season thank you Hi, it's Andy here, otherwise known as A-Bomb FM. Before we start the predictions, uh, just a quick thank you for having me for this. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we can uh, do it again next year, and I'll try and do a bit better. It's the last day of the season, five more games to predict, not including uh, Man City and Liverpool's games. Um, the title race is down to the last day. Um, I'm hoping Liverpool can get it, uh, but it's a tall order with City um, at home against Villa. So who knows what's going to happen? Come on, Liverpool. I mean, if we can just win our game... I'm happy with that. But the race for fourth place has also gone down to the final day. Arsenal are away against Everton and need a win to have a chance of getting fourth place. They did suffer defeat against Newcastle on Monday, so that leaves them in this position. I think they will beat Everton, who are now safe uh, and can't get relegated because of their win over Brentford. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Arsenal at the Emirates. Meanwhile, Spurs are away against Norwich, and if they lose, then they could give up fourth place to Arsenal. If they draw... Arsenal need like a massive swing. So Spurs, the only way they can really give up fourth place is if they lose to Norwich. I don't know what, seeing as I'm well, pretty much last and have nothing to lose, I'm going for a Norwich win. My dad's going to kill me because he's a Spurs fan, but I'm going to go for Norwich to beat Spurs 1-0, Arsenal to beat Everton and Arsenal to get fourth. I know, uh, my dad's going to kill me. At the other end of the table, Leeds United and Burnley are currently level on points. And Leeds are away against Brentford. I don't want Leeds to get relegated. I'd rather Burnley go down. Leeds have been fun to watch under Bielsa. It's unfortunate that he's gone uh, and now we're, you know, Leeds are in this position. But Brentford have had a really solid season. And um, if they can better Brighton's result, they could go into the top half. I think Brentford are going to beat Leeds. And I think it might send them down. It's a shame, but I'm going to go for a Brentford win 2-1. Burnley and Leeds, as I mentioned, level on points, but Burnley with that much better goal difference. So, um, you know, if Leeds are going to lose, then Burnley will be safe. Uh, whether they beat Newcastle or not, I don't know. Newcastle have been doing well, and I think they might share the points here, so I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Lastly, we have Crystal Palace against Manchester United, who currently occupy sixth. Uh, West Ham could catch them on a final day if they overtake them. Um, there's just two points there, but Man United uh, currently in sixth. Palace threw away a 2-0 lead against Everton on Thursday. Here against United, uh, I don't think United are going to win this game because I just think it's the last day of this season. I don't think the players care anyway, and now they're going to care even less because the season's going to be done. So I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win, 2-0. So those are my predictions. Once again, thank you for having me this year. It's been fun. Uh, we'll see if we can go again next year, and I'll try and do a bit better. I think mean, I'm practically bottom at the moment and, and might end up staying there unless things go really well. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having me. I'll see you soon.